Hello and welcome everyone. So we'll continue with our third part of fisheries. In the first part, we have discussed about the basic term or about the basics of fishes. And in the second part, we have studied about the classification of fishes. In second part, we have discussed about the various type of fishes. There are two types of fishes. One is shellfish and second one is fin fish. And again, in case of finned fishes or in case of shellfish, we have discussed the classification that it can be inland fisheries, it can be marine fisheries. And again, we have discussed about the classification of marine fisheries as well as inland fisheries. And again, we have discussed about the type of water and about the fishes you, we used to rear in the different kinds of water. Different kinds of water means there can be water which does not have salinity, means it is known as fresh water. Second, which has medium salinity, which is known as brackish water. And third, which has high salinity, which is known as saline water. So there are three kinds of water, fresh water, brackish water and saline water. So everything was discussed in their previous two sessions. And now in this third session, we'll be discussing about two terms. One will be bioflow technology and second will be RAC. Biofloc and second is RAC. RAC is Recirculatory Aquaculture System and Biofloc. I'll explain the meaning of Biofloc. So before we start this session, we'll have to understand the basic concept of fisheries. And after that, we'll be understanding why Biofloc is very important, why it is getting popularized day by day. So in case of fisheries, if we want to start a business or if a farmer want to start a setup for the fisheries, so what is the real challenges? I think the real challenges are first is investment and second is skills. Okay, for skills, the farmer can get the training, farmer can learn from the fellow farmers. But investment is really a difficult task. If I'll ask you to start a business which can give you a monthly income of rupees 2 lakhs, but the initial investment is 5 crores. So now initial in investment is 5 crores can be a worried situation for you. Same goes to fisheries. In fisheries, income is good. If a farmer want to start backyard poultry and second, a farmer want to start fisheries. So backyard poultry is very easy because backyard poultry can be started with the investment of rupees 5, 10 or 20 thousand. But in case of fisheries, it cannot be started with this much of amount. So initial investment is the major task. This is why you will see that culture fisheries was not getting popularized in India. But from few past years, we have seen or we can see a large increment, a large increment in the number of fisheries farmers or in the number of farmers who are involved in this sector and why they are moving towards this because now we are trying to reduce the capital cost. We are trying to reduce the initial investment of the farmer. So for the initial investment, what we need, initial investment, we need to establish a tank or a pond, which will be taking approximately money 50,000 to 5 lakhs, or it may be more than 5 lakhs, depending upon the area. So initial investment will be on the construction. After construction, now the second challenging point, second challenging point is feed and water. Because if you want to grow the fishes faster, you'll have to give them the concentrated feed. Concentrated feed will be available in the market at higher cost. But by using that feed, the growth of the fish will be faster and you can, you can sell the fishes in the market very easily and you can sell the fishes in the market at very earlier stage. Like a fish used to take 10 to 12 months, but by eating concentrate, it will take 7 to 8 months because concentrate will give them the power. Concentrate will give them the protein. Then that protein will enable their body to grow at faster rate. So first of all, the cost will be on the feed and second cost, second cost will be on the water because fishes excreta is getting inside the water and that excreta is in the water and this is why water is getting polluted. Now we need to replace the water or we need to treat the water. Treat means we'll have to filter the water or simply we can replace the water. By replacing or by treating the water, by filtering the water, it will take a good amount of money. So there are two, two kind of major costs after the initial investment. First initial investment and now second major challenge is on water as well as on feed. Now, I was telling you this whole scenario. Why? Because I want to start with the bioflow because now these bioflow will change that kind of history. 
by using bioflog first of all you don't need to invest a lot of money on the pond or on the tanks here you can see what we are using because in traditional pond you will have to make a cemented you will have to make a cemented wall by using bricks as well as cement so that will be comparatively uh, costly but in this what we are doing for the lining for the lining purpose we are using trapoline sheet ट्रपोलिन डू यू नो वॉट इज ट्रपोलिन शीट है ना हेर यू कैन सी वी आर यूजिंग दैट ट्रपोलिन शीट विच इज कंपेरेटिवली एट द लोएस्ट कोस्ट इफ यू कंपेयर द सेम विद द ब्रिक्स एंड सीमेंटेड वॉल सो इनिशियल इन्वेस्टमेंट will be less in the bioflow now what is bioflow actually because it can reduce the initial investment but can it reduce the further expenditure like we used to invest the money on the feed as well as water of course yes bioflow technology which is known as bft bft is also known as a new blue revolution so why we are calling it new blue revolution because it can decrease initial cost it can decrease the cost on the water it can decrease the cost on the feed so now if you can decrease the initial investment you can decrease the cost on the feed you can decrease the cost on the water so ultimately you are decreasing a lot of investment from the farmer side and production and productivity is comparatively high as compared to the traditional system now what do you want investment is less and productivity is higher of course this can be a best solution for the farmers now how bioflog is the best solution for the farmers okay let me explain when we are talking about the bioflog so as the name says bio and second is flog so bio means living and flog means kind of we can say herd group jhund whatever we want to say na so flog means it is group and bio means it is something which is living so when we are rearing living groups living groups of bacteria it can be fungi it can be actinomycetes or it can be some other living microorganism so in bft what we are doing now try to understand the major concept of bioflog so in bioflog what we are doing in bioflog we are rearing the fishes along with the aggregates so bacteria fungi actinomycetes or some other microorganism now when the fish will produce excreta in the water that excre excreta will become the food of the bacteria because bacteria are very small that are not visible to the fish eyes so bacteria can survive easily in the water now that bacteria is using that excreta as a food so that excreta excreta by the fish when it go in the water it will pollute the water but now that excreta or now that waste product of the fish is getting eaten by the bacteria so now your water your water is not getting polluted by the waste produced by the fisheries now this bacteria this bacteria is eating the waste of the fishes and now the size is getting increased once the bacteria will be having sufficient size and now it is visible to the fish fish will eat this bacteria have you understood the concept what happened in the last one minute yes of course hai na so in the last minute you understood the concept that first of all we are using that bacteria as a filtration system as a treatment system because that bacteria is eating the waste of the fishes and now after when the bacteria is growing up now after a sufficient growth that bacteria become the food of the fish now that fish is having a food which has high protein yes which has high protein because if you guys are vegetarian you used to eat the vegetarian uh, dishes you can say which is low in protein and when people want to move to the high protein diet they move to the non vegetarian diet right so same go to the fish and now fish is eating bacteria the bacteria is high in the protein content so your fish is having concentrate or your fish is having a feed which has a great protein content. content which will give them the faster growth and before that the bacteria is treating the water so we have reduced the initial investment we have reduced the cost on the water we have reduced the cost on the feed so of course you guys are clear that now we can say that bioflog is a new blue revolution
Have you got the concept? What is biofloc technology actually? Of course, yes, because bio means living, floc means bacteria. So in general, in ordinary system, we are rearing fishes only. But in this system, along with the fishes, we are rearing the aggregates or we are rearing the bacteria. Don't go with the aggregate word, simply say bacteria. Bacteria along with the fishes is BFT, is biofloc technology. That bacteria has the power to treat the water as well as that bacteria will become the feed of the fish. That's it. This is known as bioflow. I hope now you guys are clear about the bioflow. Okay, let's give a starting to bioflow. So in other words, bioflow is a symbiotic process. What is the meaning of symbiotic? See, what is the meaning of symbiotic? Suppose if you guys are the part of a paid course. If you guys are the part of a paid course, you are paying money to me. I am getting benefited. And I'm imparting the knowledge to you. You guys are getting benefited. So we both are getting benefited with each other. This uh, relation is known as symbiosis or symbiotic. Now how symbiotic process is there in the bioflow? Because the fish is getting the fish is getting clean water because that water is getting treated by the bacteria. So fish is getting the clean water and because of those clean water, the chances of disease spread will be comparatively less. So fish is getting benefited. Now the bacteria is getting the food from the fishes because fishes waste will work as a feed for the bacteria. So bacteria is getting feed and fish is getting clean water. Both are getting benefited with the each other. So this process will be known as symbiotic. So in other words, bioflow is a symbiotic process that include confined aquatic animal as well as heterotrophic bacteria. Confined means which are which if we are rearing any birds, any animal or fishes in the uh, in the four walls that is known as confined area. Like you guys are sitting in a room right now and I am standing in a studio right now. So what is this? This is a confined area. So we are reading the fishes in the confined areas hetero along with the heterotrophic bacteria. Heterotrophic. There are two types of bacteria. One is autotrophic, second is heterotrophic. Autotrophic means which can make its own food and heterotrophic means which is dependent on the other source for the food. So here the bacteria was dependent on the fish excreta for the food purpose. So in the confined aquatic animal, heterotrophic bacteria and other microbial species in the water. So we are rearing all of these species inside a single pond. So there can be bacteria, there can be fish. So fish and bacteria is compulsory. But yes, some other microbial species can be there. Biofloc bio technology, as I told you, it is considered as new blue revolution since nutrients can be continuously recycled and reused. Wow, how, which, which nutrient they are talking about? The excreta, excreta by the fish is having nutrient. Yes, of course, when your animal, cow, buffalo, sheep, goat, when your animal is producing waste, we are using that produce, that waste product in the field. FYM farmyard manure. Why we are using farmyard manure in the field? That is a waste of the cow. We should throw it outside. But no, that waste is having nutrient. Same goes to the concept of fishes. When fish is producing nutrients, so in those, in those, uh, when fish is producing waste, so in that waste, nutrient are also included, right? So it says since the nutrient can be continuously recycled and reused in the culture medium, benefited by the minimum or zero water exchange. Yes, Anna. so first of all, we are recycling the nutrient. How? Because the excreta will be eaten by the bacteria. Now the bacteria will be eaten by the fish. So we are recycling the nutrient and minimum or zero water exchange. Because in the ordinary system of fisheries, we'll have to recycle, we'll have to replace, we'll have to replace the water again and again. But in this system, what is happening? The bacteria is filtering the water. So bacteria is filtering the water. So we need not to exchange the water. So by using minimum or zero water exchange and by recycling the nutrient we are using a lot of water again and again and we are using the nutrient again and again this is why the cost is reduced and this is why we are calling it new blue revolution consumption of the bioflow also provide nutritional value to the cultured aquatic species so cultured aquatic species is fish 
when your fish is eating that bacteria so it is having a good nutrition value this simply means that bft can be an ideal option for sustainable and environmental friendly aquaculture so it can be a good option it can be a good option for the environmental friendly aquaculture sir so the traditional system is not environment environmental friendly of course no when you are replacing the water again and again that means you are wasting water hai na so you are giving a harmful impact on the natural resources so how that can be environmental friendly but this technology where we are not using any kind of new water we are not wasting any kind of water so this is known as environmental friendly technique bft is a environmental friendly aquaculture technique based on the in situ in situ means inside the pod in situ microorganism production so microbes are getting produced within the pond only so it is known as in situ production i hope now everyone is clear about the bioflow now let's talk about the advantages what are the various advantage of the bft so first of all as per the previous discussion now we can conclude that the bft is first of all eco friendly it can reduce the impact on the environment and again sir we can use the land and water optimally judiciously or perfectly we can say because we are not wasting the water we are using it again and again so of course we are using judiciously so judicial use of land and water limited or zero water exchange safe system limited or zero water because 5 to 10% water can be reused but almost 90 to 95% water is getting recycled by the bacteria so we are not wasting water that is the advantage higher productivity because your fish is eating the bacteria which has a high protein so the growth of the fish will be faster as comparative to the other system so productivity will be increase in case of bft as well as higher biosecurity because instead of rearing a single species now you are rearing multiple species inside the water so you are securing the aquatic biodiversity reduce the water pollution because we are not changing the water again and again so it will reduce the water pollution it reduce the utilization of protein rich feed and cost of standard feed how it can reduce because your fish is eating bacteria so the cost on the protein has been decreased or cost on the protein feed has been decreased it reduce the pressure on the capture fisheries because if people are not rearing the fishes if people are not culturing the fishes so from where i or you will get the fishes from the capture will go to the marine will go to the uh, river will go to the lakes and will just capture the fishes and after a few years after a few years the capture fisheries will be banned or will be zero in india because we will see that there is a fishes population will be reduced to a great number if we will pressurize the capture fisheries so if we are culturing the fishery so if you are producing higher higher amount or higher quantity of fishes in the culture so obviously it will decrease the pressure on the capture these are the advantage of bft now of course hai na everything comes with a certain cost everything comes with positive as well as negative point deepak vadhwa is trying to teach you but again he is consuming your 30 minutes right so every every good thing comes with few negative point so there are advantage of the bft but again there are disadvantage first of all increase energy requirement for the vigorous continuous aeration mixing because now there are bacteria also in the with the fishes so there is increase or vigorous requirement of the aeration so for aeration you will have to use the fan system do you know we are using some different kind of fan okay let me show you in the video so here you can see in this video what we are doing we are using different kind of fan or different kind of electric equipment to supply the air inside the water so we are using more species in the bioflow system so the energy requirement energy requirement in the form of electricity or some other form will be increased second is short response time due to elevated water respiration rate thus monitoring system alarm emergency power supply are required because we need more aeration so for more aeration we need vigorous supply along with that it is short response like suppose if, if we say that uh, in the studio now there is no electricity that is fine i will record this video tomorrow but in case of fisheries they cannot say okay fine if electricity is not there air is not there so i will start the respiration tomorrow of course no after a few minutes your fish will die
right so we need uh, because of short response we need monitoring we need alarms and we need emergency power backups emergency power supply Starter period is required because fish will, fish will not start you giving return in few days or few weeks. It will take few months. So starter period is required. Alkinity supplement is required because pH will be decreased and you have to give the lime to the water in the water. So alkinity supplement will increase the cost. Increase pollution potential from the nitrate accumulation. Sir, you said it will not pollute the water. Yes, of course. We are not changing the water again and again. So that is reducing the pressure on the environment. But again, for the fishes, we'll have to use the nitrate because nitrogen or nitrate will be responsible for the growth of bacteria and for the growth of phytoplankton, the growth of plants inside the pond. So because of that, we'll have to give FIM, we'll have to give DAP or nitrogen or you can say urea inside the pond or because of that pollution potential will be increased as well as last disadvantage is inconsistent and seasonal performance for the sunlight exposed system. If your biofloc is sunlight exposed, directly sun rays are coming on the water. So in the summer months, in the summer months, you will not be able to produce the fishes. Sir, why? Because in the summer months, uh, the water temperature will be increased because the suitable temperature for the fisheries is 28 to 32. But in summer months, it will be increased and your system will not give you sufficient production. But yes, if it is covered, if it is covered by a few, uh, some kind of sheet. So in that case, you can produce the fishes in the known season also. But sunlight exposed system will give the performance in the season only. So these are the disadvantage of the biofloc technology. And there are a lot of advantage of the biofloc technology, which we, which we have discussed earlier. In case if you have a doubt, please write in the comment section. Now talk about the last concept or last point of the biofloc and then we'll move to the RAS system. If you have listened well to the biofloc system, so it's very easy for you to understand the concept of RAS. Okay, species suitable for the biofloc culture. First of all, air breathing fish. Air breathing fish means which has an extra, extra organ to breathe in the air. Sir, can fishes breathe in the air? Yes, of course. Most of you are attending the classes from South India and even people from North India. You will see that there are fishes which used to die when we take them outside the water. But have you ever experienced see on this screen? Right? You will see this fish is outside the water but still it is surviving. How? Because they have extra respiratory organ which enable them to take respiration or start respiration inside the air also. So we can rear the air breathing fish like Singhi, Magur, Pabda, Anabas or Penguasis. Yeah, there are some cat fishes which are banned in India, banned by the Maharashtra government or banned by the Indian government. But yeah, that is only one catfish. And if you know the right answer, tell me which catfish was banned by Indian government or by Maharashtra's government in 2020 and now it is air breathing fish so rate should be higher but you will see that fish is illegally getting produced in India and the price is 50 rupees kg to 200 otherwise all air breathing fish are 500 to 700 rupees kg but this only single air breathing fish has 50 to 300 rupees per kg price tell me the name of that catfish which is banned in India and which is air breathing next we can rear known known air breathing fish like common carp rohu tilapia or milkfish and we can also rear shellfish like pacifin white shrimp or we can rear tiger shrimp so these all kind of species can be reared in the biofloc system that's it it was about the biofloc technology have you guys understood the concept actually i'm the one who started his career from july 2016 and I started teaching in Hindi only before uh, getting into this field. I was working, uh, I was working with an MNC, and uh, there I have to speak the English only, and that too with the American accent. But I was working in that company in 2013-14, so it has been almost 10 years. When I started speaking Hindi only, I was not using English language, so I feel a little bit uncomfortable while explaining English. But I used to, uh, I used to try that I should use the simple word. Those simple words should be understood for the student and in case if you're finding any difficulty or if you are not finding any difficulty, it is easy for you. I would like to request you that please give your valuable feedback because that will encourage me to produce more video or in case if you need any kind of 
improvement you can say so please write in the comment box i'll try to improve myself further and uh, what i am trying to do i'm just trying to uh, deliver these video for the english medium student because every time whenever i deliver a video in hindi so i am having few requests from the south indian from the english medium student that please explain in english we are unable to understand so i don't have an issue to continue with the videos but i need at least at least 50% views as comparative to hindi videos because if i'm not getting 50% views obviously i will stop making videos in english why of course i will try to reach to the more audience i have shut down or i have off the monetization feature of the youtube so i'm not earning anything from these videos even i used to give 2 to 3000 for a video for the editing to, to my editor so why i am doing just for the welfare of the student who don't have proper guidance so do write your responses in the comment box okay so after the bioflow technology we'll move to the next part that is ras now ras is very good system it is perfect but it again need high investment at the initial stage because in bioflow we are using bacteria only bacteria is responsible of filtration of water but as the name says recirculating aquaculture here we are recirculating the water like you guys have a aqua guard or have a water filtration inside your house so that is filtering the water continuously and after a few months the technician came to your house and he said you'll have to replace the filter and that filter cost rupees 500 1000 or 1500 now you see, oh yaar that is very costly yes you guys are right here also we'll have to filter the water again and again and that filtration process is very costly this system is perfect everything is okay but the initial investment is more this is why i started with bioflow because bioflow is more popular bioflow is giving more advantage to the farmer as compared to rs now what is rs name says recirculatory so continuously we are recirculating the water for the filtration purpose so a recirculatory aquaculture system it's a technology where water is recycled and reused after mechanical as well as biological two kind of filters we are using one is mechanical second one is biological and removal of the suspended matter as well as metabolite so whatever the metabolite like the waste of the fishes or uh, body parts of the fishes because uh, some fishes Uh, are dying inside the water and there are some body parts of the fishes so whatever it is it will be filtrated by the filtration system mechanical as well as biological filtration it is a intensive high density fish culture unless other aquaculture production system do you know what is the meaning of intensive obviously yes when we are rearing more number of fishes in the short area or in the less area it is known as intensive system so in the case of intensive it is highly recommended in case of rs it is highly recommended that you should use multiple species and you should use maximum number of fishes not optimum number maximum as much as you can rear in a pond sir why are you saying maximum it should be optimal because the capital investment is very high in this system so suppose example just take an example if i am rearing 100 fishes and the cost of rearing 100 fishes is 100 rupees now i have a system which has cost of 200 uh, 200 rupees now what you will suggest me to rear 100 only or to increase the number from 100 obviously if the cost is more so i'll try to rear more fishes so here we are circulating the of water all the time so water is cleaned every time so spread of disease the chances of spread of disease comparatively less so we can rear the more number of fishes as comparative to other system so this is kind of high density intensive high density system recirculating system filter and clean the water by recycling it back to the culture tank so it is taking the water from the culture tank clean water is again coming back to the culture tank new water is added to the tank only to make up the splash out we are not using any kind of new water all those remaining water all those previous water available in the tank is getting recycled new water will only available or new water is only used for the splash out purpose means like if i want to uh, splash out the water from the one pond so i'm using the pressure of the new water so from here new water is coming and the old water is getting outside so that is only getting used for the splash out purpose only otherwise we are not using any kind of new water we'll be using only previous water by recycling it. 
it. So new water is added to the tank only to make up for the splash out in case of evaporation because if some water is uh, evaporated from the in the environment, so we'll have to give the new water and that used to flush out waste material. Yes, if we want to flush out the waste material, of course, we'll have to use the new water, the reconditioned, the reconditioned water, reconditioned water means recycled water. Again, it will circulate through the system and not more than 10% of total water volume of the system is replaced daily you know? so replace means the previous water has been replaced with the new water so only 10% water is getting replaced that remaining 90% is again we are using in this system so that means we are wasting minimum water so again it can be called as environmental friendly but this is not cost friendly you know? this is capital intensive system but yeah in capital intensive, we have the opportunity to rear more fishes in the less area. So this is high density intensive system of the fish farming. So in order to compete economically, this will be the major challenge. Because system is good, that's perfect. But we'll have to use it maximum. Why? Because in order to compete economically and to efficiently use the substantial capital investment in the recirculation system, the fish farmer needs to grow as much as possible in the inbuilt capacity. I told you not optimum, it should be maximum fish population. Why? Because you have invested more money, a lot of money. So you'll have to rear as much as you can. The management of the recirculatory system rely heavily on the quantity and quality of the feed and type of filtration. Of course, you know, type of filtration means how much you are able to clean the water. And feed means high protein content feed will give the higher productivity. So this was the RAS system, which is capital intensive system where you can rear more number of fishes, but it is costly for the farmer. This is why it is not so much popular, but Biofloc is getting popular day by day. Now, what are the advantage? First of all, durability of the tank and equipment will be extended because now all the equipment has fresh water. So it does not have waste water. So the life will be increased. Second, reduce dependency on the antibiotic and therapeutic and hence advantage of getting high quality fish. Therapeutic means fish treatment, uh, the medicine which is used in the fish treatment. So we don't need to use antibiotic or the medicine for the fishes because water is clean and the chances of disease spread has been comparatively less. Then reduction of the direct operational cost associated with the feed, predator control and parasiticide because there will be no parasite, no, no parasite or predators will not be there because predators can come in which water in which in the water which is not getting recycled which is not getting filtrated but in this system we are filtering the water again and again so the chances of parasite or predators is comparatively less so we need not to control them so the cost will be less potential eliminate potentially eliminate release of the parasite to the recipient water so it will it will uh, decrease the chances of the spread of parasites Risk reduction due to climatic factor, disease and parasite impact because this has less area, controlled area, environment is controlled. So in the open environment, there is a lot of risk, but in the closed environment, in the less area, we have more parameters to control the environment. So the risk reduction, risk will be reduced due to climatic factor and RS production can promote flexibility in terms of location for the farming proximity to the market. How? Suppose if I want to start a business and I need one hectare of area and for the second I need 0 0.1 hectare of area. So now getting one hectare of area near the city is very difficult but 0 0.1 hectare is comparatively easy. So in RAS system we need less area so it gives us flexibility to start the business anywhere where we want because uh, getting minimum land is easy but getting maximum land will be difficult. What are the disadvantages? So first of all, constant uninterrupted power supply. So this is the disadvantage of almost all fisheries because in every case of fisheries, you need power supply all the time to supply the air in the water and capital cost, capital cost of starting and recirculating aquaculture system is high as compared to the pond and raceway. So this is the more major disadvantage of this system that capital cost is very high in this system.
I hope you guys are clear about the Bioflow and about the RS. As I requested you in between the video, I need your feedback about these videos. I have delivered three videos. In the next video, I'll be talking about the fish disease. So in the fish disease, I will explain the major seven to eight diseases of the fish, which is very important for your exam. And in the fifth lecture, I'll be asking you a few questions in the form of quiz. So that will also be helpful for all of you. But if these videos are helpful for you, so please write your feedback. In case if you want any kind of improvement, please write your feedback. And in case if everything is perfect, please write your feedback. So I'll be waiting for your valuable comment and I'll see you in your next video. And in case if you have any kind of doubt in this video, just write it down and I'll explain in the next class. So till then, take care. Bye-bye. Have a great time. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.